In this video, we'll give you an overview of Agilon's notification schedulers. This feature allows you to set notifications that are triggered based on sales orders or quotes. After logging into your Agile Iron account, go to Settings, scroll down to Communication Setup, and click on Notification Schedulers. Here you can see a list of all active notifications that are triggered when the corresponding event occurs. Here you'll see notification links related to sales orders like order created, order shipped, change in order, or back order creation. You also see notifications here related to quotes. You can click on any of these links to customize the default messages that are there. For example, if you click on send order confirmation notification, you'll be able to edit a number of things, such as who the email goes to, all the content created in that email. It's a fairly simple WYSIWYG editor that allows you to add images, links, and whatever you'd like. Once you've made the changes, just click Save. The customization now has been applied. Agile Learn now allows channel-specific notifications as well. This means you can customize the default messages, subject lines, settings, etc., for all notifications related to a specific channel. Any sales channel you have enabled in Agile Learn will be available for selection in the transaction notification email selections. Here, you can click to customize. Besides each notification, there is an edit button to customize that specific content. For example, let's customize the sales order ship notification for Oakland Retail. Click on this button here, and the notification settings will pop up. Here, you'll see the default notification content, including the recipients. You can easily change the email content as shown earlier. Make sure to enter a notification email from address, then scroll down and just click Save. You'll now be returned to the previous screen and you'll notice that the edit button seen here has turned green. This indicates that customizations have been made to these notification settings. Next, we'll look at the add notification integration. This panel allows you to connect sales order notifications to external tools, services, or URLs. All you need to do is click the add notification integration button then check the active box and enter all the necessary information below, such as the connection name, API parameters, the test connection URL, and the sales order create notification. We'll quickly fill in some details here to show you an example. The test connection button allows you to check if the API credentials that you've added here are correct. After you're done, click Save. You'll then be brought to the previous screen where you'll see the new connection has been made and is saved. That's all we'll review today. Thanks for watching.